Hey everyone, it's Kevin Ducey, uh, Whiteboard President, back with another edition of our Top Producer Spotlight. And occasionally I get these opportunities to reach out to other industry giants, and I am so excited to have uh, the CEO of one of the hottest tech companies out there. I'm sure you guys are all well, well aware, whether it's the pink jackets or the amazing emails that they're sending to your customers. Ernie Graham from Homebot. Ernie, how are you doing today, sir? Man, great. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Kevin. By the way, I'm not wearing my pink today. I'm like all Tony Soprano up and in, in the black. So I, 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 I love it, man. I was beginning to think that's all you owned was a pink blazer. I was wondering, you know, what, what I would need to do to get one of those. Hey, Ernie, you're actually you're actually taking part in what you what, what we do every day. You're out there buying you're in your car because you're buying a house. Is that right? I am. I'm the inspector's in the house right now. And uh they were, you know, they have a mask rule. So I said, I better come out here to the car. <laughs> right on. It'd be uh, be a little bit difficult to interview you with the mask on. So I appreciate you popping out uh, and, and taking the time with me. Ernie, we had an opportunity. We were talking offline to kind of for me to just like pick your brain a little bit and understand where you came from and how HomeBot evolved. Would you mind just sharing with some of the viewers um, where where HomeBot originated from, how you got there? What's, you know, because your story is really pretty neat and pretty cool. Yeah. So, you know, I'm a tech guy. I've always been a computer geek since you know like high school <laughs> right and, on. and so I fell into tech at a really you know a young you know the very first part of my career and went to school for all that and it was interesting because I was part of that go-go 90s um, the dot bomb era and oh, cool. um, everything was great until it was terrible and um, I literally like like decided to take a year off and I ended up moving to a little resort town in Colorado to take some time off and then, you know, it was a confluence, a lot of stuff. I always say it was like a one-year sabbatical that turned into a 10-year real estate career because I ended up getting real estate. That's really the only way to make a living in the little resort town. So for me, it was one of those things where I was, I, you know, I became like a full-on real estate professional, whether it was I was a broker, I owned a brokerage, I did lots of deals, I have got into development, I was an MLS director. I, you know, I was like Mr. Real Estate. I was always like looking around, you know, imposter syndrome. <laughs> Are they going to figure me out as just a tech guy? But the point of all that was, is that I became a practitioner, a craftsman of real estate as a technologist. And so then when I came out of, when I left that town and moved back to the city and decided to get back into tech, I was just a real estate tech guy. So that was kind of the, my first exposure with sort of the, the process and the problems of real estate, both at a practitioner level, but really at the homeowner level. Mm -hmm. think problems that I was trying to solve in an unscalable way for years for my clients. And so that was kind of the first, that was kind of the first push for me to want to like become a real estate tech guy. But uh, in 2011, I actually sold a company to realtor.com and ended up running their research and development group for a while. And that's, that's when I actually got pissed off. And I was working at realtor.com and they were doing the same thing as Zillow and Trulia and all these guys for all of their resources, for all of their smarts, it was about dopamine. It was about getting people to click on stuff. Right, and, clickbait. And, and, and to sell late leads. Right. And for me, I got pissed off because I looked at that and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. The home is the largest asset the individual American will most of the time ever own. Absolutely. They're retiring, they're retiring on home equity and the best you can do is give them a game to play of clicking on stuff. And that's really, that was really, the, I think, the most significant part of the origin story to where I was like, oh, no, I want to I wanna build something for the homeowner, the buyer, Holly homeowner, that really helps her build wealth with homeownership. And you said that as you were, as you were developing this and as you're, as you're growing out and reaching out and finding customers, that lenders were, much, were leaning in much more so than the real estate side of things. Is that accurate? Yeah, that was awesome. And I, you know, it's, you know, I'll go ahead and say it right now. We started HomeBot. We, we started HomeBot for Holly Homeowner. Mm -hmm. we, we started it to help her understand her home as an asset and make smart decisions. And we had no clue how we would actually build a business off of that. And we started to pilot with different groups. And it was really interesting um, for me personally that even though I had done hundreds of millions of dollars of transactions and knew lots of mortgage lenders and done deals, right. I, didn't really, I didn't really understand lenders 
the lender culture or the lender mindset. And when we started doing a pilots with HomeBot, what we learned was more than anybody else, the lenders were so dialed in to our true north, especially the top producers. Mm -hmm. They're like, in so far that they want to help people, whether or not that there's a, a transaction and a commission tied with it, they, a lot of them got in the business to help people, you know, discover their dream of home ownership. And so helping them sort of grow multi-generational wealth, helping them think of their home as, you know, sort of beyond the transaction stuff. Absolutely. Lenders, lenders already thought that way. And here's what I'll throw in there. What I have come to learn in the last five years is that most have already been, were already like this. So of course that's music. So there's an alignment in, of interest right out of the gate. Um, but what I have sort of learned over the last five years is that a lot of top producing lenders have like almost been victimized by their own success. Where if you only have a couple of hundred people that you've done business with in the past, you could probably go see them and send wine to some of them, some of them and get them in the office from time to time or go have dinner, you know what I'm saying, sort of socially circulate. But once you're into several hundred or thousand customers over 15 or 20 years, you don't, there's no way. Right, limits your access. Oh yeah, especially now with everybody being completely distracted on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, or whatever. They are. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, it just <laughs> even work. It doesn't work that way anymore. So I just really love that we didn't really sell lenders to what we were doing. Lenders just looked at it and said, yes, that's an extension of what we already do. Yeah, and I've, I've had the courtesy or, or maybe the displeasure, honestly, of, of being next to you guys at some booths at some conferences because, you know, CRM is kind of a necessary evil in the, in the lender world and uh, HomeBot is like this big flashy new toy and everybody's super excited about it. And they, they should be. And I'll tell you this as, as a consumer of your product, because my lender, Sam Birch, I'll say his name. I get an email from him every month, courtesy of you guys on my properties and I get to check it out. And it is so cool. And I mean, honestly, I know that it's coming from you guys, but it's a nice touch. I'll, I'll plug Sam's name over and over again because he takes care of me. And that's one of the steps that he's taking care of me with. You know, obviously rates are changing right now. I've got property. I, I'd like to buy some more. I'd like to know when the right time to pull the trigger on moving is. I'd like to know where the neighborhoods I want to move into. And I can look see all that right there at my disposal and it doesn't take any effort from sam it's just boom he's moving it and now we're even taking a step further as we, we were lucky enough to to work with your tech guys who by the way ernie you've hired an amazing team um from everybody from your sales people that i that i've met on the road uh to your tech people in the back end there's this level of altruism of, of desire to want to work with people it's kind of getting back to I'm like a, you talk i am a proud papa bot I'm a proud, I, I was like our culture, everybody's got their head, head screwed on right and just so much fulfillment across the board. Yeah, so when, cool. When we started doing the connection on the back end stuff, my team, my team came away and that's actually what spurred this is my team. You know, we, I have these, these interviews and they're like, dude, you got to get somebody on from HomeBot. And I said, I bet if I reach out to Ernie, he'd say yes. And thank you so much for doing it. It's been so easy. And we have, we got, we got great steps that we want to take in building out that connection, but it's been really pretty cool. What are some new things that are like, if, if you are a HomeBot consumer, is there anything new that, look, that, that they can look forward to rolling out in 2021 or in, in the next couple of years? Obviously I know tech development is slow and hard, so I know that better than most. So yeah, there is. And I'll share some of that. I want to, uh, first of all, I love that, you know, your lender's first name, Sam. And, um, and there's something about that, by the way, that our industry, even in the real estate industry was sold a bill of goods 10, 15, 20 years ago, that if you could just get people to remember your name, that you would, you would do good business with them. And the problem though, is that today name recall actually isn't enough. In other words, or brand exposure isn't enough. There actually has to be value attached to your name for you to remember, for, for someone to remember it. Uh -huh. So when you close a deal, when, when he closed his deal with you, when Sam closed your deal, you probably would have remembered his name for about 12 or 13 months. And there's some really cool research around this, but around 13 months, the honeymoon's over and the value he created for you fades. And so does your ability to recall his name, it fades. So if you really think about what we're doing, this, I'm gonna get to your question, 
is that our customers and the the content and experience it it has it has to have value intrinsic value so as that content comes to you every month from sam you value the content. It's like, this is valuable. I can't do this on my own. This has value. So Sam's name and brand and likeness combined with things of intrinsic value over time is what keeps him activated for you as a trusted advisor, as someone that you would do business with, as someone you would refer business to. So put a pin in that for a second, because our job now at HomeBot is to innovate and to create as much due value as our brains can conceive for you. Because to the extent that that's valuable to you, not just cute, not just addictive, but really valuable intrinsic value, that that makes you, that makes it even more powerful to keep Sam top of mind for you as somebody that you trust and that you would do business with. So in that context, we're always pushing. So we just launched something just a few days ago which I have wanted, I kid you not, for four, we're a five-year-old company. I've wanted this for four years. <laughs> That's and awesome. It, it, and it just wasn't time. It wasn't time. It wasn't time. For me, this was part of the great, realizing some of the a greater potential of HomeBot. And it's something we call video manager. And it's a simple concept, but I think it could be the most powerful thing that we've ever done. And here's the way it works. So all that content today, mm-hmm. HomeBot delivers to the client, branded to the uh, to the lender or a real estate agent. Um, it's beautiful. The content's beautiful, right? And it's got Absolutely. Green, yep. green, you're, you're, it's cognitive. Green is good. Red is bad. It's easy to understand. It's almost like super, beautiful infographics. Super easy to use. Super easy yeah. to just like maneuver. So I love it. And your lender's brand is stamped right there at the top. And your lender's brand is, is that he's the call to action for all of that different content. If you want to take the next step. Right. For me, the way that we've done it is really just really two dimensional brand, right? It's a picture, it's his name. So you get some biometrics out of the picture. But brand is so much more than that. People do business with people because of the way they explain things, the way that the intonation of their voice, the biometrics of their face, and everybody's different. Mm-hmm. By the way, it's it's the way Sam explained adjustable rate mortgages versus this. There's so much nuance. There's so much brand. It's really 3D, four-dimension brand that really sets Sam off in the world. And so for us, bringing video to HomeBot and letting Sam shoot video for absolutely every part and every sort of combination and permutation of situation, we're actually letting him embed his brand into this HomeBot. So that if, if, if somebody else came along and tried to give you HomeBot, Kevin, and it didn't have video or it had video of somebody that you don't connect with, it'd be like, these two homebots are absolutely not created equal. Right, swing and a miss, yeah, exactly. Or should they be, but for Sam, it gives him the ability to, to, de- to, to, to personalize the technology that he gives with his, cl- on, with his clients to you mm-hmm. on a level that in my opinion is, that's the coup de gras of all of this. That is the, that is where we're really now taking, and, and I, people always get mad at me when I use this expression at HomeBot, I say, you got HomeBot, the, the robot, which is the bones of the experience. Right. But Sam's brand and his video, it's like the flesh on those bones. And we've never had that flesh on there until now. So video manager, it's just, I think it's just, it's gonna change everything as it relates to letting uh, number one, the Sams of the world, the lenders, um, more clearly communicate who what they're all about on a consistent basis. Like in other words, communicate 26 hours in a 24 hour day. But don't forget the other side of this. The consumer now can get the right Sam explanations at the right time inside of that, you know, inside of that that framework. 
That's super cool. That's uh, man. I, I, you know, you guys are doing some great things out there, Ernie. I thank you so much for your time today. If somebody has been living under a rock uh, in, in this space that might not know how to reach out and find you guys, how should, how, how should one of my customers reach out to find you guys and, and get a better idea of what, how that can work for them? Well, I'll give you a, a so the website is just homebot.ai or um, just send an email to sales at homebot.ai. The AI stands for, you know, augmented intelligence, artificial intelligence, but there's no .com. It's just homebot.ai. Ernie, I appreciate you so much, sir. Thank you for the time. Uh, you talk over and over again about the why it's about it, it, we're all in this together we're about putting people into homes making people's lives better every top every top loan officer i've ever worked with is always talking about not the mortgages they sell the people they put in the homes and it's so good to hear guys like you guys like my friend dave sims andrew pollock jason fraser all the people that i deal with that that are, are changing this industry daily it's always back to the same thing we want to put more people in homes thank you so much for your time sir thank you kevin really love working with you guys